Hello everybody, it's Bronze Braun and welcome back to MC's Revenge. Now in the last part, MC kind of had some deja vu from the original game. He passed out. We headed home. Yuri has started to do some of her uh, act two crazy shenanigans and that is where we left the video off. So without further ado, you know how bad I am with these intros. Let's move on and get forward with it. Example of my bad intros, I just said that backwards. Let's move on and get into it. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Uh, I'll start with Natsuki today. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck I'll take as a win, and I get the feeling that you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you- Wait, maybe that was a compliment. <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh, something tells me Nessica completely missed the point. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. A at poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make... Why did I just take me a second to read that? I, I couldn't read that for a second. That did not show up as anything in my brain. <laughs> I'll make sure you learn something from it. Okay. Oh, no. Is this the one? Oh, I hate this. Why did I pick Natsuki? Why did I pick Natsuki first? I hate this one. Oh, okay. Gotta do it. T3PL, B V5, Q equal equal. Remind me to never do something like that again. <laughs> um, Natsuki? What the hell? Bronze. Why didn't you come read with me today? I. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. I'm sorry, Yuri pressured me into reading with her instead, and I figured since I already spent time with you yesterday... Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? N no, Natsuki, please! I like how your character is actually talking instead of the dialogue just playing out. Once I saw that, I was like, oh, because I never experienced this the first time playing the game. I went with Sayori the entire route, and I tried to do... Well, I didn't really try anybody in the second act, because, you know, after what happened with Sayori, I was just playing through the game to see what happened. I, uh... I never got to experience this. Like, actually playing DDLC. I've only seen this in, like, uh, clips of people playing it. So I've, I never experienced it myself, so that was, that was a first for me, seeing that poem. I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Oh no, what's happening? Oh shit, this is different. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. Natsuki, no, you don't mean that. But she doesn't seem to be hearing a word I say. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Bronze, do you? Do you hate me? I don't know what to do or say. I have, I have to make her snap out of this somehow. Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Natsuki, I'm sorry, please! Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. Oh, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh, I'm getting PTSD of playing the game for the first time. Oh my god. It's all I have. Play with me. I just know something terrible is going to happen, but I don't see what I can do about it. Play with me. Oh, I hate it. Dene. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I can just imagine my guy waking up and going, OH MY GOD! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was beautiful. That was... I was supposed to take that seriously. I could not. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. Uh, Bronze? Uh, Natsuki? Thank God. I thought you were dead. 
dead? What the heck are you talking about? Bronze, I think you really need- er, Bronze, I think you really need to see a doctor. Nothing happened, just- Damn, you're getting really aggressive. You know that, bitch? Yeah, like, if I was in this game, I'd slap you right now. And that's not the only reason why. You did a lot of mean shit. Monica did do something wrong. Don't you fucking tell me otherwise. Well, Natsuki, can I see your poem again? I don't think I saw what was actually there. Sure, whatever. There we go. One time I hurt my leg really bad. <laughs> That's the only part I read. I was like, oh yeah, this is Amy like Spider's poem. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. Hope you didn't think I was that was the best I could do. No, of, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like any would like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people find out that make fun of you or think less of you. Like, for example, uh, for me with that is that I have a complete obsession with the Nickelodeon cartoon My Life as a Teenage Robot. It is a very underrated show. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least... Or at least, I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I want to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I don't want to. I know what you are going to do. Both, like... MC does not know, but I know. You were about to do some mean stuff. You mean, mean woman. God damn, she's beautiful, though. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Hi again, Bronze. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. Just yoinked it away from me. As long as, it's, as long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Very optimistic. After, if she's being very optimistic out of nowhere. You never know. Want to share you? Uh, want to share what you wrote for the day? Sure. Here you go. I get my poem. Oh, she she didn't. T what did she take then? All right. Mmm. You really like this bittersweet style, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. Well, you know there are a lot of different styles out there. Oh, I don't know if what I picked in the last part is similar to what I picked in this part because, um. There was a couple mess ups between uh, the last part and this part. The game didn't save where I was, so I had to re go through everything. I clicked guilt for this time. I don't know if that was what I picked last time, but I, I, I'm i still going along the bittersweet story. I, I, I'm guessing that's what I did last time. Well, you know, there are a lot of different styles out there, and none of them really make. And none of them are any more right or wrong than another. You, consider, you, could, you should consider trying something different. Stuttering problem. Ugh, I hate it. Not that this poem isn't good, but I'm curious to see what you'd come up with if you tried a different style. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Cacophony! <laughs> Stop! Sine, cosine, tangent. Knife, breathing rib cage. Delete her. Oh. Monica? What is this poem about? I'm partially put off by the line that says delete her at the bottom. Uh, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Uh, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? N not really. Well, we are start sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thank you, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. I don't like it. I don't like it! I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. He smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. I don't like to- I don't wanna- can we- can we stop this, please? Can I, like, just stop the video now? 
Because I don't want to do this again. I don't want to- I don't want to do this again! I hated doing this. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Notice the stains on it. It's not good. I'm guessing this is the same poem as last time. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the original game. Yeah, th th this seems familiar. Um, Yuri? <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, th that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. I'm too shocked of the, by the insanity of what she's saying to respond. <laughs> that is a fair- That is being put on the thumbnail right there. This is being the thumbnail of this video, okay? Like, I know Future Jackson barely edits these parts because it's just one long video, but he knows damn well this is gonna be the thumbnail of the video. Damn well. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You could keep the poem, though. Uh, uh, wait, Yuri, we need to talk about this! Th there's nothing to say. This poem is... I don't know what to say about it. Yuri, I think there's something really wrong with you. We need to... Prons, look, I know, but don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I won't go off the deep end or anything. I'm really worried about her, but it's not like I've... It's not like I've seen her show signs of becoming dangerous, and besides, I really don't know what I can do to help her, so I leave her alone. Damn. I don't like this. I don't like this! Why did you people recommend I play this mod? I don't like this. <sighs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to get over- We, we have something we need to go over today. I hate my stuttering problem. So if everyone could come sit at the, at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Uh, well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like that we could put together anything in good in just a few days. We're sort of embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. I don't know anybody who does. <laughs> Monica, I don't know anybody who does. <laughs> oh. Just whenever it popped up, I imagined Monica saying it like that. <laughs> don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Bronze joined, and we've started with some club and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become com um complacent. I think that's what that was. Yep, complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is only is a is our only real chance to find more. You know, what's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club, and it's not like any teachers actually walk actually watch and actually look over us. We can do whatever we wanted. Like, bronze, pull your pant. <laughs> I'm so stupid. More members will just mean everything else gets- Everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. <laughs> Natsuki. I don't know why I said it in, in my voice. I don't know. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so so it should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Bronze? Uh Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Bronze or Gregory just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us are here join the club with other people in mind? You are never even talked until Bronze joined. <laughs> Oh, I always love that line. As for me, I just like it better than I do at home. I just like it better here than I do at home. And Bronze isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding in any new members. The rest of us are, just, are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monaco's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. 
I I'm sure Yuri and Bronze want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Bronze, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Uh, probably what everybody was hoping to expect and get out of this visual novel when they first downloaded it. <laughs> uh, well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Huh? No one forced me to join. Monica sits downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? God, this is so much This plays so, so much differently in your head once you play this game a second time. Like, this whole game plays differently a second time. This scene, especially, though, is huge emphasis on the second playthrough. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have, to, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with, with, to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Bronze. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki! Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. I would have walked out there with her and talked to her to come back. Like, I, I would have I would have felt so bad if someone would have done that in, in a club that I joined in high school. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh. Oh. Forgot this part! Fuck! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to, to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh, I hate it! I hate it, but I gotta get into it. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Bronze? What did you what do you want to get out of this club? He repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And so I can have some nice uh, anime bitches by my side. <laughs> and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we, uh, maybe we can all ask Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still- that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. M monica You... LIAR! You brought her here to kill me! <laughs> oh... God. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Bronze? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Bronze before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Here he looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. 
Monica was, <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you, I don't know why, sometimes my voice acting just cracks out of nowhere. Like, I sound like Natsuki. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. It's like, bye, bitch! <laughs> Phew. Things have been a bit hectic have lately, haven't they? Yeah, especially for me. Bronze, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I wouldn't really hate to- I would really hate to see you unhappy. I kind of feel like I'm responsible for that as president. Well, it's not like my hallucinations and stuff are your fault. I know, but still. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Sorry about that, OBS didn't said it, I had an encoding overload. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Get the feeling she means that in a really unsettling way. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that. That was the train horn right there. It had to have come by when there was no audio in the background. Because when audio music is playing in the background, you don't hear the horn. Because, you know, it, there's music in the background. But when there's nothing here, you can hear it clear as day. Had to have come by as there was no audio. <laughs> but it's weird, because in all the time that you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry. I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I, I've been hoping to talk with, uh, talk about you with. Or to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. I'm listening. Does this have anything to do with what's been going on? Well, yes. Basically... Wait, not yet. No! Hold the fucking phone! Wait just a minute! I don't know if you guys realize that, but did you see at the beginning of the video that I didn't play around in Super Mario Bros. 35? If you notice that, thank you for having that much uh, attention paid onto my channel. <laughs> and uh, second off, I noticed it because I'm the one recording the damn thing. Did you honestly believe I was going to forget to do Mario 35? You know how bamboozled you feel? You know how much of a Gerber family grew up playing diaper wearing baby you feel like right now thinking I would forget to play Mario 35 in my own video? All right, I'm just gonna shut the hell up and play. <laughs> Nothing I could do, damn. Ran out of time. Well, ninth place isn't too bad. I completed two two out of the three and I'm five away from the, from the other one for the day. So I think I did pretty okay for now. Well, with that out of the way, back to your regularly scheduled DDLC mod video. Oh, no. oh TikTok, no, I hate you. Go away! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't want to see memes that with, with the Undertale shop theme in the background and I'm already Tracer. I don't want to see anything like that. LG, LG. LG was behind the entire mod the whole time. You sons of bitches, LG! <laughs> LG, upside down question mark without the dot, divided by E with the Q, YYR with lines above it. I'm not going to say all that. Oh, oh god. Oh, I don't like this. Um. Oh, I'm so tempted to click that one. Love, literature, suicide. All these can be related to Monica. I'm going to I'm going to keep the Sayori path and do suicide. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck was that? Fuck off, train! God damn it! Sorry, I have to wait until the train passes, because you'll just hear in the background if I don't. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the hell I just saw. I was given like two seconds to take all that in. All I know is that I did not like it. One bit, okay? I did not like that. I also didn't like that. I, I've, okay, I, I want to tell you guys something. I, I did that whole liar thing, Revenge of the Sith meme earlier. I normally don't, like, bring memes very often into my videos because they'll make the videos dated, like I did with, um, The Rise of Skywalker in my, um, uh, Doki Doki Encore mod. That's really dated now, but 
Um, when I, uh, I've seen Revenge of the Sith. I bought it on 4K Blu-ray, like, the earlier in last month in November, and I have seen Revenge of the Sith so many times because my internet have, has been complete dog shit lately. I've seen it so many fucking times that every single time I see something that could be related to it, I immediately think of Revenge of the Sith. Like, whenever I saw this bronze, I just imagine Darth Vader at the end of the movie going, No! When he saw Sayori, him just dropping to his knees and just yelling that. Uh, that's I was like, okay, that took all the tension out of it. Way to do that to yourself, bronze. God, I'm an idiot. I wake up again. Shit, it felt so real that time. I just know that girl's someone I know. Or somebody that I used to know. Somebody. I'm sorry. Sayori. That was her name. But what in the hell happened to her? Something that made me forget about her? Did I lose my memories? Like Natsuki? God, everything is so fucked up ever since the day I joined this club. But I have to stay. I think I'm going to get to the bottom of this soon. Wait a minute. I also can't remember what happened after I left the club yesterday. In fact, I can't even remember leaving. I just remember talking to Monica about something and now I'm here. I go over to my desk. I remember to write- I remember to write a poem alright, apparently. So the meeting must have ended normally. It's just my memories that are messed up. Now I know that how Natsuki feels, I guess. Whatever, I guess I'll just head to school. As I'm on the way to school, a certain- Oh, I was about to stop this. No, I want to see how this goes. Hang on, I'm going to sit down. As I'm on the way to school, a certain house stands out to me as intensely familiar. I feel like this house has something to do with what's going on. I knock on the door. Hello? Anyone in there? No answer. I know this is trespassing and, and I feel crazy, but I just know I'll find answers in this house. I gently open the door. Whoa, feeling of familiarity is incredibly strong now. I feel like I'm in a cathedral or something. I must be close. The feeling guides me to a bedroom which I enter. Holy shit. It's starting to... I remember... Sayori, you hanged yourself out of depression. But what happened after that? Why couldn't I remember you until now? I know she used to exist, but I just still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have the feeling I failed, like I didn't pick up on the clues fast enough, and now something terrible is going to happen no matter what I do. Well, there's nothing else to do here. I should head to school. Oh... Do I keep going or do I stop? Do I keep going or do I stop? What do I do? I'm very interested in this. I'll go to the poem. I'll go to the poem sharing and then we'll, and then uh here I'll save this right here. And then uh if yes, I'm recording this at midnight. My sleeping schedule is way way out of out of uh <laughs> out of what people would call normal. <laughs> but uh I, I'll definitely get to the- if it doesn't get to the poem sharing part, there's again, son of a bitch. If it doesn't get to the poem sharing part and it just skips that entirely or something, I'll just cut it here, but I, I, I'll, I'll continue going for a bit. I'm back at the literature club. Hi, Bronze. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Um, I'm sorry, but after what happened yesterday, I really think I should give Natsuki some attention. Eh? What happened yesterday? Well, I know I was hallucinating, but it still makes me worry that what she said was true. Bronze. Um, Bronze? Actually, it's fine if you spend time with Yuri. Don't worry about me. You sure? Yeah, I've been thinking. Well, you'll see when we share poems. Okay. Natsuki goes back to the closet. Excellent. I brought my best tea today. Monica! I- er- Monica! I told you not to- mm. She really late again. Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Don't you always interrupt my conversations with your in incest incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You said I'd like to do it on a regular basis or something. I was just paying it. I w just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, 
I'm not the last one here. I'm the last one here again. Well, Bronze just walked in too. Oh, were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Oh, determination. No. No, Asgore! Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. I can never see that that line, that word the same again after playing Undertale. Like, those of you who have played Undertale understand completely where I'm coming from. Like, that game is one of my favorite games ever, ever since I played it. I wish I had played it years ago. But I guess passion. It motivates me to- it motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um... Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well... We decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did, I, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we'll, we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, Donatsuki really emphasizes how much she likes you. Like, once you, you understand the character and look at it, you're like, yeah, she does not want another man to be in this club because she does not want any attention to be taken away from you. Full Sundiri right here, like, this- this- this girl is more Sundiri than fucking Vegeta, the original Sundiri. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> but more importantly, I would hate to see the- to see the event just suck because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Bronze, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could- we already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? Oh, no. That's correct. Bronze is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose? I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. None of this matters. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want now. <laughs> yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I don't like this anymore. I don't- I don't want to play this mod anymore. I don't want to play this! I'm getting PTSD of the game. Oh, I hate this. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing I can make- that can make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Here stands up and makes a word of the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. Yuri walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well thank- I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri's out of the Yuri here is out of the classroom. Ah, did you did did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling with the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Most logical place for Yuri would be, to, would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach I reach the corner and peer around it. Hang on, OBS. I don't know why OBS. This is a visual novel. Why does OBS have an encoding overload for a visual novel? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Thanks for- Wait one minute, Yuri! Uh, what is it? I take her out into the hallway. Oh, this is getting good. I just- 
I just remember going out to look for you just now because you were taking too long, and I found you were cutting yourself with a knife, and then... And then time rewinded or something. Am I crazy? I... Bronze. No, I did it. Yuri, why? I can't explain it, but sometimes my heart just won't stop pounding. I, I can't calm down. It scares me. It makes me feel like I'm losing my mind, but cutting always snaps me out of it. That's... There's gotta be another way. Maybe, but can we please go read now? If only there was some way I could go back and stop her from cutting herself. I guess so. We return to the club room. Bronze, do you like oo oo oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature in the kettle 200 degrees. Now, now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I'd, I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. And when it's with you, when it's you who's around anyway, who messaged me? Why is my phone going off? You're supposed to be on silent. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Bronze. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I could put up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Bronze, uh, I have another request. Hang on, OBS again. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at, the, at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's more likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against sit uh, against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the reading position as last time, each one holding half the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri sides closer until his shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally man manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can, all you can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have to- so that I don't- I blah, blah, blah. Stutter English! Okay, take it from the top. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Huh? Yuri ex Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Bronze. S sorry, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Bronze. Uh oh I did something stupid, didn't I? Yuri, suddenly Yuri forcefully guides my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Bronze. Uh oh. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Bronze. I done it now. 
<laughs> I done it now. <laughs> no, I just I just to know how guilty they feel. I done it now. Yuri, I'm sorry. What what I did back there was really stupid. Please try to calm down and don't cut yourself. I can't. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Bronze? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. The midichlorians are convincing me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No more Star Wars references for the video. <laughs> for the rest of it, anyway. It makes, me, it makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. I feel like I should pull away, but I'm indecisive. Ah, oh, I hate it. I don't like it. <sighs> um, it's time to share poems. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this anymore, and I hate how it removes everything. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this a video. This has gone on for long enough. This is very, I'm very into this. I don't know about you guys. I'm ready to see what happens with this. So, um, until next time, thank you all so much for watching. And I promise there won't be as many Star Wars references in the next part if you guys don't want it. Let me know in the comments and, like, do what the cool kids do nowadays. You know, like, share, and subscribe. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And until next part, take care.